Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand how to start using Tally Prime for e-invoicing under e-invoice integration phase. In the e-invoice integration phase, applicable from the 1st of January 2023, it is mandatory for your company to connect your e-invoicing solution or software to the Fatura portal or e-invoice system. If your company is registered under VAT, then you need to generate e-invoices for all your transactions online and Tally Prime enables you to generate an e-invoice for a single voucher or multiple vouchers. However, before you can start generating e-invoices for your vouchers seamlessly, you need to generate invoice login credentials that will connect your company in Tally Prime to the e-invoice system. For e-invoicing purposes, we recommend you to use Tally Prime Edit Log, which will help you detect modifications made in the vouchers for which e-invoices are generated. Let us see how to create or alter your company. You might have already created the company or you may be creating it now. Irrespective of that, you need to specify a few details in your company to get started with e-invoice integration phase 2. Press ALT plus key, ALTER, and then press ENTER. Ensure that you specify address, PIN code, telephone, mobile, and email as these details are necessary to generate or renew e-invoice login credentials. If you are creating the company, then enter all other necessary details and press CTRL plus A to save. Once you have all the necessary details in the company, you are all set to generate your e-invoice login credentials. In Tally Prime, press F11, then set Enable Value Added Tax DAT, to Yes and press Enter. The VAT details screen appears. Ensure that you select the VRN type relevant to your company, say Company Registration. Thereafter, specify VAT number, registration date, and periodicity. Set e-invoice integration phase applicable as yes. If security is not enabled, then Tally Prime asks you to enable the security and enter your username and password. And the applicable from date should be the date on which e-invoice integration phase became applicable to your company. As you press enter on the date, the e-invoice login credentials screen appears. If you do not have e-invoice login credentials, then you need to generate one. It is important to note that you need to generate unique e-invoice login credentials for a specific software. To generate e-invoice login credentials, press G or click generate. A certificate signing request CSR form appears. The screen has all the information necessary to generate e-invoice login credentials, including your company name, VAT number, organization unit, TIN, and other such details. TIN and other details are pre-filled based on the information specified in the company under F11. You can update the details if needed. Under Invoice Type, Standard and Simplified Invoice is selected. You can change the invoice type if needed. For B2B invoices, you need a standard invoice, while you can use the simplified invoice for B2C transactions. Location is pre-filled based on the company details. Specify your industry name. Now, you need to log in to the e-invoice system to generate an OTP. Enter the OTP generated on the e-invoice system and press enter. Enable send the CSR form after saving. Press Y to accept and send the form to the e-invoice system. You can see that Tally Prime is sending a request to generate e-invoice login credentials. Once e-invoice login credentials are generated, you receive an email on your registered email ID and you will be back on the VAT details screen. Location of e-invoice archives is the folder path in which the e-invoices will be available after generation. 
you can change the path by specifying a path or selecting from the drive as convenient to you. Once you have the e-invoice login credentials, you can specify the e-invoicing details. Press F11. Then set enable value added tax VAT to yes and press enter. Press F12 and set address in local language to yes and press Ctrl plus E to save. Now enter your address in Arabic and press Ctrl plus E to save. Press Ctrl plus I. Type or select E invoicing details and press enter. Enter one of the details related to your company. Under company address provide building number, city and district as per your company's registered address. Press Ctrl plus A to save the details. Now let us understand when and how to renew e-invoice login credentials. Whenever e-invoice login credentials expire, renewing it is just a few seconds away. In the VAT details screen, press enter on the applicable from date under e-invoice integration applicable. Press R to renew. Generate an OTP on the e-invoice system and enter it here. Press enter. Enable send the CSR form after saving. Press Y to accept and send the form to the e-invoice system. As you can see, Tally Prime submits a request for renewal. Thereafter, your e-invoice login credentials get renewed. Now, let us see when and how to revoke e-invoice login credentials. You may need to revoke your e-invoice login credentials if you want to generate new e-invoice login credentials for another invoicing solution or software. In a different scenario, you might want to renew the details such as TIN, invoice type, or any other information filled in the CSR form. Or you might have accidentally revoked your e-invoice login credentials from the e-invoice system. In such cases, you need to revoke the e-invoice login credentials in Tally Prime. Press Ctrl plus I. Type or select e-invoicing integration phase, history, and press enter. Press Alt plus R to revoke the e-invoice login credentials. Press Y to continue. Tally Prime asks you again if you want to revoke the e-invoice login credentials. Press Y to continue. The e-invoice login credentials get revoked. You can easily view the history of e-invoicing details and if you want to view the CSR form filled at any point in your history of e-invoicing, enable view CSR details. You can view the CSR details on the screen in the display mode. Now, for a different company data with the same name and BAT number, you can restore e-invoicing details. You might be maintaining a separate company for a different branch of financial year. However, the company has the same name, mailing name, and VAT number. Moreover, e-invoice integration phase applicable must be set as yes in the company, but you do not have to generate the credentials because you are going to restore the e-invoice details. Copy the e-invoice certificate from the source company folder. Alternatively, you can download it from the email with the subject line, your e-invoice certificate is updated. Paste the e-invoice certificate in the company folder of the company in which you want to restore the e-invoicing details. Now, in the current company, press F1, help. Troubleshooting. Restore e-invoicing details and press enter. The e-invoicing details get restored. As you saw, you can easily get started with e-invoicing under e-invoice integration phase 2 in Tally Prime. All you need to do is specify the necessary details in the company, enable e-invoice integration under VAT details, and generate or renew e-invoice login credentials.
If you want to revoke e-invoice login credentials, then you can do so in a matter of seconds. What's more, you can restore the e-invoicing details in a company whenever required. With the invoice login credentials and e-invoicing details, you are all set to generate e-invoices in Tally Prime. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.